Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am your host, Andrew, and today, as you saw from the clip at the beginning of the video, we are doing more gun spinning tricks. That was a clip of Tombstone, or a brief clip, I should say, of Johnny Ringo doing some fancy gun spinning tricks when he was trying to, I guess, insult Doc Holliday. But the one you saw in there where he has his palm outward and spinning the gun like this, and what you saw from the start of the video, is what we are doing today. To my knowledge, this is called the starburst spin. Another move he likes, he repeats this a couple times, and that is, uh, I think people call it the starburst. But for the sake of getting lots of clicks on this video, it's going to be the spin from Johnny Ringo. But whatever the case, if you stick with me, I'm going to show you how to do it. So before we get too deep into this, what is the first thing that we do when we do these gun spinning tricks? That is right, everyone. We're gonna put our gun into half cock and we are gonna check if it is empty. We don't do gun spinning tricks with loaded firearms. Now that we know our gun is empty, let's take a look into what's the first step of this gun spin. Well, everybody knows how to do the forward spin by now, pretty simple, and the backward spin. It's really, you know, amateur child's play at this point for our, our friends here at St. Andrew TV. We've done all these before. It's pretty simple at this point. Now let's put the palm of our hand out like this. Move your index finger out like that. Here's the side angle. And all you're gonna do is spin the gun like so. Seems pretty simple, right? Wrong. I worked on this for an hour and it still hurts my arm after about three or four spins. So you might have to take some time out of your day to really master this one. I was getting caught uh, about every other spin attempting it. We're gonna go from there. We're gonna do it slow. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. And then I'll do, you know, my typical front, side, fast, slow motion. Sound good? Good. So now that we know our hand position, flat, finger out like so, put the gun in your hand and hold it because that's where the, that's the position it's gonna have for the entirety of this spin. Start like this, like I'm in a firing position, and I go here and open up my hand. And then this is gonna be the part that you're gonna wanna stand over a mattress or a couch, a soft surface, because my gun went flying a few times during this whole process. But you're actually gonna give it a flick to give it that momentum, because now you're working against gravity. And you flick and it's gonna be on the same position on this side. That's where you're gonna start your backward spin. So we're gonna bring it back over, like so. Same thing, just reverse and back over. That is precisely the idea of the starburst spin. I actually sat there for an hour before this video and did this continuously so I could show you the easiest and I guess for me, the most effective way of doing this, and then you can get really good and, you know, do it in your sleep. So start in a firing position. Turn your hand over, open your three fingers, and have your thumb cradling the other side of the gun, and have your index finger in that trigger guard. And then when you're ready, give it a flick, and you're over to this side with the gun out parallel and opposite of what it looked like while it was in front of your torso. And that's where you bring it back over into the same position it just was. Two spins, except your hand is always open and the palm is also facing outward. So.
That is the Starburst spin or the spin that you saw in Tombstone performed by Johnny Ringo. So let's move over so I can show you what my fingers and hand looks like on the side angles. So you can kind of uh, get a good grasp of what my arm and my hand is doing when this is all in motion. You start in a firing position, turn your hand over, give it a flick, and look, I'm pointing at the camera, now I'm gonna bring it back over. It's not perfect, uh, this is a brand new to me, and this one is very demanding, and like I said, my sleeve is up, I don't usually roll up my sleeves, this one tires me out. Remember, you are manipulating a two and a half pound piece of steel to uh, kind of make it do what you want. Now we're gonna get really daring and we're really gonna speed this thing up. We're gonna start from the front. Now off to the side. Now, once you get comfortable with this, you can actually do the variation that Johnny Ringo did in the movie, which is one over top and two on the way back. Then once you complete your fancy gun spinning, like you've seen in the movie Tombstone, you can holster your pistol like so and give your mustache a little brush to let them know you mean business. And that is all there is to it. That is the spin that you see Johnny Ringo perform in Tombstone in that brief little scene right when it cuts to him doing the other version of flat spins, which we will get to another one that really makes you pucker. Or you can call it the starburst spin. I call it starburst spin because it's two syllables and you know, I'm not that bright. But anyway, I would like to thank everybody for getting this far into the video and learning a very difficult spin along the way here. That one was very challenging. That was probably the most difficult one that I have done here on this channel so far. So I do appreciate the patience. And if it's not perfect, just know that I'm still working on it. So even what you've seen today isn't exactly the most polished, finished project out there. So like I said, I do these videos because I want to learn with you. I've only been doing it as of, you know, since yesterday. So I'm still learning it. And if I can do it, you can too. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me what I should do next. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed as of late. But for those of you who have come across this video and you have yet to hit that subscribe button, think about doing so because you're a daisy if you do.